Their wind chill closed many schools for the day, but in Union City, kids didn't quite get a day off. So Nuwasu live with how students are going to school in their PJs, so districts don't have to use a snow day. So new? Well, Michelle, it's a struggle every superintendent in every school district faces. The state gives them three snow days each year, so what do you do when you run out? You've got to come to school in the summer and make up for that lost time. The parking lot and the classrooms are empty. A level two snow emergency means no school for kids in Union City. But that does not mean no education. I'll be able to... High school sophomore Maddie Murphy has just logged on to her school district's website to check her assignments for the day, one for each subject she's taking. Well, in school I have seven subjects, so I have seven E-Day lessons to do. It's a pilot project in Ohio, and the Mississinawa School District is the first one to replace snow days with E-Days. That's electronic learning for short. The biggest thing we're trying to avoid is the June makeup day. Any days that we make up prior to state testing, um, we get good instructional benefit out of it. With two electronic days instead of three, the district now has five calamity days to work with. We asked mom Beth Murphy what she thinks about the idea. With owning a business, the kids will be trying to fight for their time on the computer today, so there will be four of us trying to get to the computer, so that might be a little challenging for us. The good news, kids have two weeks to finish the assignment. Those without computer access will be able to log on at school on their own time. They can also use computers set up at the local fire station. It means no makeup days later in the year and a new way for kids to attend class. How many sit-ups can you do in 60 seconds? That's right, even phys ed. 22, 23, Come on, come on, come on, come on, you can do it. Go, let me go. <laughs> come on. Today was the first day this pilot project was put into action. Parents have been asked to participate in a survey to get their thoughts on how it all worked. We'll bring you an update next week. Reporting live, Sonu Wasu, 2 News on your side. And remember